Hey, what the heck is going on, YouTube? It is your friend Jordan here, and I have a story to tell today with the Story Time with Jordan episode. And um, this time it happened in my freshman year of high school, so that's ninth grade for you foreign peoples. And um, I was in Mandarin class, actually, with this dude who was a really good teacher. Like, we had terrible Mandarin teachers and then we had a good one and he got fired of course because he was actually smart and then we got awful ones again so this was in a period where I was actually learning Chinese and now I forgot all of it because we had terrible teachers I can say Ni Hao and General Cao's chicken but that's basically it um and so I was in Mandarin class, and I was sitting next to these two girls. And we might have had a substitute that day. I can't remember. But I was sitting next to them. And just a little backstory that might uh, give you an idea what this is about. Um, maybe the title already gave it away, but I don't know. But I had never, ever, ever in my life had a nosebleed before this. Like... Prior to this, I had one of them, like, a week earlier. And now I get them all the time. I have no idea why. I get them, like, daily um, while I'm sleeping or sometimes at school, but that's kind of rare. Um, and so I had it in class, and it was, like, the scariest thing because if you've never had one, it kind of just feels like your nose is running, but then you go to wipe it, and there's blood on your hand, and it's scary because you can't really stop it and it's awkward and so then you're in school and you gotta like go and get tissue and then there's blood all over and kids are like it's blood and then you kinda gotta hide the blood it's awkward basically is what I'm saying and so um yeah I was sitting in Mandarin class uh, we, we've already established that and it feels like my nose is running and so I just wipe it with my finger and I look on my finger to my horror and there is just a, a fat line of blood on my finger and I well, I didn't even know what was going on because it was like one of the first ones I've ever had and it scared me and so like the reaction is always when when you're in trouble it's always to bring somebody in with you so I was like, oh my god, and then the girl next to me looked over, and I'm like, w look at this. And she looks at my finger, and there's just blood all over it. There's blood, like, dripping out of my nose. And she's like, she screams, because I didn't know that, but she's terrified of blood. <laughs> so uh actually worked out kind of perfect. And so um, she screams, now everybody's looking at me. And luckily, like, I was friends with everyone in the class, so it wasn't real awkward. Um... And the teacher starts freaking out more than anybody. She's like, oh, my God. Actually, yeah, I think it was a substitute because it was a woman. And um, then she's like, do you need to go to the office? I'm like, no, nah, I'm just going to run to the bathroom. And so then my other friend came with me to get out of class, of course. And it was my freshman year. I had no idea where the bathrooms were. This was like the first uh, semester, close to the beginning of the year. And so, I, I thought there was one, I was upstairs, and like, I was upstairs in one corner, and there's a bathroom on the upstairs, but like, I didn't know it. So I had to go all the way down the stairs and across the entire school to get to the other bathroom. And this whole time, like, I have my hands kind of in like um, a cup shape, you know what I'm talking about? I'm making it with my hands now, if you can see it. And um, I'm just covering my nose, and there's blood, like, pooling up. And it was overflowing in my hands. It was the most blood I've ever seen come out of myself at one time. And that, yeah, okay. And um, so I'm walking down the hallway, and, like, people are in the hallway, like, staring at me. And I'm walking with my friend. They probably thought he beat me up or something. And, um... I'm walking and I get the weirdest idea like there's blood dripping down the hallway and stuff and we were walking by lockers I was just thinking I was like hey what would happen 
be the craziest thing if I just like splashed it all on the lockers and left like a big old handprint on it. Just like, just swipe my hand on the lockers so it looked like some horror movie scene. And for a split second, I was like, that's a great idea. And then the logic kicked in and I was like, yeah, that's terrible. That would be awful. Uh, so I didn't do that. Kind of, Looking back, that would be an even better story to tell. Just see people's reaction. The janitors would probably clean it up before the end of class, but I don't know. One can dream, can't he? So I get to the bathroom, and there's, like, blood pouring out of my nose. I remember I, like, I released the cup. Like, I pulled my hands apart, and there was, like, a wave of blood just splashed into the sink everywhere, and it, like, scared the crap out of me. And so, um... Yeah, then I cleaned it up. I went back to class. It took like five minutes to stop bleeding. And um, I was walking all the way back. And I get to class. And the girl who was sitting next to me, she screams again. And I'm like, what? And she's like, oh, I hate blood. And so, of course, like, for the rest of the day, I was like, like... I moved my desk really close so that, because apparently, like, I was contaminated now because I have blood in my system. And, um, so every time, like, I would talk to her, she would scream, which is kind of funny. So I would, like, I'd just be like, hey, she'd be like, ah! So I'd be like, hey, she'd be like, ah! So I'd be like, hey, she'd be like, ah! And that just kept happening for, like, 40 minutes till the end of class. And so the reason I thought of it, I saw her, um, like a week ago and she was like oh remember when that happened i was like yeah and she was like that was weird i was like yeah she was like cool i was like yeah i was like bye she's like yeah and so i told you guys so you can be like yeah that's cool and i'll be like yeah and um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the story if you did let me know somehow if you didn't you'll probably let me know in the comments um, yeah, I love you guys. Goodbye.